What's good, YouTube? Never one eighty two. You're back again, once again. Today, people, today we have another Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Mega Evolution speculation video for you guys. I think that's how we're gonna start these off. Since it's not really a news and update, I always say news and update, then I turn around and say, "Oh, this isn't a news and update. It's a Mega Evolution speculation video." But anyways, uh, last one that we did was Mega Milotic last week, and over the weekend, I asked you guys through Twitter which one you'd like to see next using a straw poll and Mega Cac Turn one. So we're gonna go ahead and break it down. Of course, these speculation videos are just that. They're just speculation. It's not official, it's not confirmed, so please do not get that impression. Don't go around saying, oh, Nappy's saying this, Nappy's saying that. No, Nappy is exploring the idea of what if. What if Cacturn got a mega evolution? What if it became a real thing? That's what we're gonna talk about today. Now, getting into it, I feel like these videos are gonna get shorter and shorter each time because like, I, I have like the game plan, the strategy all laid out for him. Whereas like before, I kind of just like just went into it and I was just like, all right, let's do it. You know, half the time I improv my videos as it is and it just happened to turn out right. That's just how I work. But now it's, I feel like I just have like a set game plan. I know what I'm gonna talk about, I know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna make it happen. Anyways, um, getting into it, Cacturn, just looking at Cacturn, just looking at um, what he has access to and what his stats are like, Cacturn, honestly, it's not a bad Pokemon. I mean, let's 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 start with the abilities. Abilities Cacturn gets are Sand Veil. He gets access to Sandstorm, so it's not like he has to rely on another Pokemon to set it up. He gets access to Sandstorm, but he has Sand Veil, which ups his um, evasion in in a Sandstorm. He also has Water Absorb, which is amazing. I mean, it's a cactus. We get that. We get it. That, that makes sense. But at the same time, let's say you had a T-Tar or a Powdon or something on the team that sets up Sandstorm for you. Somebody goes for Water Move, swap out the Cacturn, Water Absorb. Good to go. Ideally, it's a great Pokemon. It's got two decent abilities. Now, continue on to its move set. It gets access to Cotton Guard, Swords Dance. It's got decent setup on attack and defense uh, uh, sur surfaces. Surfaces? Uh, platforms? What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I said platforms! What the hell am I talking about? In both areas, it's got decent setup, attack and defense, both areas. Um, and he gets a wide array of moves. A wide array of moves. Um, let's let's just start. Let's needle arm. Does he does he get uh does he get C bomb? Let me double check. Let me double check. Let me double check. Let me double check his move set real quick. See what he gets. He gets of course he gets sucker punch. That's a given. We already mentioned that. Sucker punch, needle arm, cotton spore, sandstorm, destiny bond. Uh, he also gets access to solar beam, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Solar beam, brick break, focus blast, energy ball, uh, giga impact. If you want to be that guy, sword dance, poison jab for fairies. Grass Knot, uh, Dark Pulse, and the reason that he gets all this, now he gets a uh, Power Up Punch as well, uh, what else, what else, Magical Leaf, Sea Bomb, he does in fact get Sea Bomb, gets that powerful Smelling Salts, Choice Band is uh, Smelling Salts, you want to be that guy, Tear Dance, Worry Seed so they can't go to sleep, I mean, you know, it's just he gets access to a lot of things, and let's take it a step further. You know, I mentioned Dark Pulse. I mentioned Magical Leaf. You want to be that guy to run a Magical Leaf Cacturn. I'm not saying that's viable or anything, but when it comes to his stats, Cacturn is not bad. I mean, uh, well, obviously he's got some flaws, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but if you look at, he, he's pretty well-rounded. His attack and special attack are both base 115. That's why I mentioned all those special hitting moves. Most of the time you see physical ones because he gets access to Swords Dance. He doesn't really have any uh, special attacking uh, setup moves, but he gets Swords Dance, which is nice. And in turn, he gets Sucker Punch and Seed Bomb and Needle Arm and all that shit that we just mentioned. But his attack and special attack are both 115. So if you wanted to <laughs> run Sand Veil, Solar Beam, Cat Turn, set up the Sandstorm and wait two turns to use it, that's all on you, nigga, that's all on you. But still, uh, like I said, it's it's a it's a thing. You can run a special Cat Turn if you really want to because his base special attack is the same as his attack. Now, when you look at his defenses, his defenses are both base 60. Which, let's be honest, is not the most amazing thing in the world. You know, Cacturn's not taking a hit. Let's let's just let's just agree on that right now. Well, he might take a hit. He might be able to take one hit. But that second hit, he's going down. That's why a lot of times you see Focus Sash Cacturn. What a lot of people will do when they send out a Cacturn, they'll Focus Sash it, go for a Swords Dance the first time. Well, obviously, they'll take the hit, knock it down to the Sash, go for a Swords Dance, and then just spam Sucker Punch. So you already know, Cacturn's one of my favorite fucking Pokemon. I hate Sucker Punch with with a passion, but people people do that. That's a thing with suck with uh with Cacturn. You know they just run that Sucker Punch Swords Dance set. Now the thing that hurts him the most is his speed is base 55, and depending upon how you look at it, you can say that hurts him. You can say it's a good thing because like I said, a lot of people rely on Sucker Punch, and the slower you are, the better Sucker Punch will work because obviously someone's gonna go ahead of you. So in that sense, that could be a blessing 
or a curse that he's that slow. Just depends on the set that you want to run. Now, with his speed being base 55 like that, it's really, really hard for me to um, allocate stats for a Mega Evolution in the sense of applying speed. Because if it was me, you know, a lot of these Megas that we've spoken about already top out at a base at like at like base 100 speed or something like that. I don't see Cacturn being that way at all. Cacturn again, he's going to be a slow, a slower, heavier hitter. So I don't see Sucker Punch leaving his move set at all. So if we were going to allocate the stats across the board, I feel like they would give him. It's really, really hard. It's really, really hard to think about this because right now he's base 475 as it is. So if they were to give him 30 points into attack and 30 points into special attack, no, let's let's do 30 into attack and 20 into special attack. Let's make a base 145 attack and base uh, 135 special attack. So that's a total of 50 that we've used so far. If they put 20 points into defense and special defense. That takes up 40, so he's base 80 in both those areas, so he can take hits a little bit better. You know, again, set up a cotton guard, he's going to take hits like crazy on the physical side. And then, uh, give the final 10 points in the speed, so he's base 65. So honestly, I, I see that's, that's somewhat legitimate, I can see them doing that. So we have base 145 attack, base 80 defense, base 135 special attack, base 80 special defense, and base 65 speed. So to me, that's not too overpowered when it comes to Mega Cacturn. Again, a Sucker Punch, a Swords Dance Sucker Punch is gonna kill. I don't care, I don't give a fuck, unless you're a fairy type, baby, that's the only way you're living that. But still, a Swords Dance Sucker Punch, I still see that being the basic set for it. Whether you wanna run Seed Bomb, Sucker Punch, Swords Dance, and if you wanna be that guy's substitute. Or whatever the hell it is, if you wanna be that guy to run the Cotton Guard set, or whatever. You know, that's the ideal set that I still being See, still see being used by Mega Cacturn. Now, when it comes to abilities, <sighs> that's a whole other thing in and of itself because Sand Veil and Water Absorb already are pretty fucking good. I really, really like that. Um, honestly, honestly, I would just keep it Water Absorb. To be honest with you, I mean, <sighs> what could they give it? What could they give it that would benefit its move set and benefit its stats? Like, this is the part where you guys come in, because I'm not going to think of every little final last detail, you know, this is just speculation purposes, and I encourage you guys to join in in the comment section, leave your thoughts, leave your comments, especially because this is one that you guys asked for through Twitter. So, let me know, that's that's the real main area, I mean, of course I want to hear you guys' ideas on the stat distribution and whatnot, but the real other main area, of course, is what do you guys think a uh, potential ability for Mega Cacturn could be. I'd be happy with just leaving it as Water Absorb, because you can still play that role that regular Cacturn does, where you could swap in uh, from a ground type and just suck up all the water with Water Absorb. Sand Veil, if anything, oh wait, 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 if anything, that'll help him out even more, because Sand Veil helps him out because of how slow he is, so that gives you the chance of, um, it gives you the chance of like, like letting the opponent go first and then miss. So even though he's slow as fuck and his defenses aren't all that, he can still just, the opponent could miss. You know, if you run a low accuracy move as it is, like Fire Blast, or you wouldn't use Hydro Pump on him with Water Absorb. But I mean, if he's got Sand Veil, you could, you could use Hydro Pump. I wouldn't use Hydro Pump on him here because he's a Grass type. But you know what? I'm just talking about moves with low accuracy, okay? Just stick with Fire Blast. <laughs> Fire Blast, you know, it's got an even higher chance to miss when he's up in the Sandstorm. But at the same, same time, weather isn't permanent, so... Is that really the best thing for him? So I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Honestly, I, like I said, when it comes to move set, I don't really see his move set changing a whole lot. I really see it staying the same unless Game Freak flips the script. I mean, they could, they could do the exact opposite of what I said. They can make his special attack higher than his physical attack. Like I said, they're both base 115 right now as it is. We could see an entirely separate move set for him. They could, they could pull. Uh, um, I always use this example of Mega Heracross. They could pull a Mega Heracross, switch up his ability, give him an entire new move set. You know, we don't know, we don't know, but that's the beauty of speculation. So share with us your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. This is a shorter one. I think this is the, the, the shortest one that we've had so far, actually, Mega Cacturn. I think the next one that we're going to end up doing probably later this, later this week sometime will be Mega Altaria. I know this past week on the Prism Podcast, I, I broke down a decent idea of it, and a lot of people seem to enjoy it. So I'll bring it to you guys and see what you guys think as well. But... Let us know what your guys' thoughts are on everything that we covered in today's video regarding a potential Mega Cacturn. 
And of course, if you guys enjoy, make sure you smash the hell out the like button down below. If you guys are hyped for Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, make sure you smash the hell out the like button down below. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you all once again for checking out the video. You don't need to that point I need to. Uh, I'm out.